The beef between Peckham and Lewisham is one that goes way back. If you're into the UK scene, you've probably seen it being portrayed in the film Blue Story. The beef between the Peckham boys and the Ghetto boys is one that really happened, with a countless number of shots being fired and bodies being dropped. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of what actually happened between the two, from beginning to end. First, let's talk about each gang. The Ghetto Boys is a street gang based in New Cross, Lewisham and Deptford, South London. The gang was formed on the Woodpecker or Milton Court estate and its members are primarily from the London borough of Lewisham. Some are thought to be as young as 12. Some members of the gang are known to carry firearms such as Mac-10 machine pistols. The gang was associated with the colour blue due to the local usage of blue by the Lewisham City Council. The Ghetto Boys have origins since the 1970s, where they were founded in the Woodpecker Estate, which was also nicknamed the Ghetto Estate in Lewisham, South London. The gang eventually spread out into neighbouring boroughs and relied on recruitment of members through local schools. It was during this period that the rivalry between the Peckham Boys and Ghetto Boys would begin. This conflict drew widespread news coverage in 2006. It was reported in 2007 that Peckham Boys and the Ghetto Boys had been in conflict for about 20 years, with the conflict being passed down to each new generation of the gangs. During the 1970s, the African communities in Peckham and Caribbean communities in Deptford had rivalries and conflict, including during local football matches, which would often result in violence. Members of the Ghetto Boys would also travel to Peckham to commit robberies in order to avoid robbing their own community. The Ghetto Boys, similar to other gangs in the area, had crews for younger members of the gang, which were the Younger Ghetto Boys and the Younger Younger Ghetto Boys. Younger members often named themselves after older members while also using the prefix younger or young, while even younger members use the prefixes tiny or baby before their street names, such as Young Craver. As the Ghetto Boys began to spread, they also formed regional subsets, such as the Deptford Ghetto Boys, New Cross Ghetto Boys and Lewisham Ghetto Boys. Now, let's talk about the origins of the Peckham Boys. The Peckham Boys gang originated in the estates of Peckham, SE15, in the borough of Southwark. A large area of Peckham between the town centre and Burgess Park is dominated by council estates. The main cluster is called the Five Estates and consists of the North Peckham Estate, Gloucester Grove Estate, Willowbrook Estate, Camden Estate and Sumner Estate. The estates of Peckham were notorious and suffered underinvestment, deprivation, unemployment and crime. The area was termed Vietnam due to the level of violence there, which is the origin of their hood nickname Pecknam. The Peckham boys were also referred to as Black Gang due to its association with the colour black. The gang is particularly prominent for its members' prolific activity in music. Giggs, who is once a member of the SN1 set of the Peckham boys, is generally credited with popularising the British gangster rap style known as road rap. Giggs would proceed to have a successful musical career and reform SN1 as a record label. In 2011, Peckham Boys rapper Stiggs was given the first ever gang injunction, banning him from making any music that might encourage violence. At the time, Stiggs was, Stiggs was allegedly a member of anti-GMG. In 2011, Southwark Council identified three sets of the Peckham Boys, PYG, anti-GMG and SN1 as the most active gangs in the area. Originally, several of the major Peckham estates had their own individual sets. The Peckham Grove Boys, the North Peckham Boys, the Gloucester Boys, the Yellow Brick Massive, the Outlaws and the Acorn Boys. The earliest sets date back to the 1970s and are the origins of the Peckham Boys gang. By the 1990s, those sets had evolved and the two main sets in Peckham were the Firehouse Crew and the Younger Peckham Boys, also known as Pecky Man Soldiers. Other groups of Peckham included the Yardie Sets, the Sunrise Crew and the Spranglers. Collectively, these sets were known as the Peckham Boys. There was friction between these sets, but it was never too deep, and they were united whenever opposition tried to come to Peckham's territory. Peckham's main war was with the Ghetto Boys, the gang headquartered in New Cross and controlling Lewisham Borough. Their other major conflict was with Brixton. The decades-long Peckham v Ghetto and Peckham v Brixton conflicts were some of the longest and bloodiest gang wars that London has ever seen. In the early 2000s, the Peckham boys had consolidated as a single gang and its sets were now structured by age. The most active sets by now were the Peckham boys, the younger Peckham boys and the younger, younger Peckham boys. Even though the Peckham boys and Ghetto boys were involved in a multi-generational war, there were some instances of Peckham and Ghetto members that were calm with each other. The most prominent example at the time was Spender from Peckham and Younger Craver from Ghetto. 
They used to roll together and make money, but that type of association was rare, as these two gangs remained at war with each other. In 2003, the first civil war in Peckham kicked off because the Peckham boys were divided over the presence of Mender. Mender was from Lewisham, but defected from the Ghetto boys and started rolling with Peckham. Some of the younger Peckham boys members trusted him, and some didn't, claiming that he was still rolling with the Ghetto boys and even robbed a Peckham member. This caused tension between Pekka members, including stabbings. In September 2003, Mendo was stabbed to death while posted outside the Old Kent Road McDonald's by some younger Peckham boys members. One of them received life for murder, while the other two received seven-year sentences for manslaughter. In October 2004, the Urban Music Awards was held at the Barbican Centre. Peckham Boys and Ghetto Boys members were local and had a shootout inside the venue, in which 18 shots were fired. This was the first ever shootout within London Square Mile Financial District, one of the world's financial centres. During this shootout, an innocent 25-year-old woman was hit by one of the bullets, but the underwire of her bra deflected the bullet away from her chest, saving her. A member of the Ghetto Boys was then jailed for 12 years after admitting wounding with intent, while another member was given two years for assisting an offender. 2006 saw a lot of violence between the Ghetto Boys and their rivals, the Peckham Boys. In September, the Ghetto Boys performed two drive-by shootings in Peckham. Two days later, two teenagers were shot in Brixton in what was alleged to be retaliation. Soon after that, members of the Peckham Boys went into New Cross, at the time territory of the Ghetto Boys. Members of the two groups had an argument at a party, accusing each other of disrespecting their relative gangs. One man was hit with a bottle in the incident. Two days later, Jason Gale Brent, a former Ghetto Boy member and relative of Ghetto Boy's members Craver, Young Craver and Smiler, was sitting with his brother and another friend on a wall in the New Cross area. A gang of about 30 young men on mountain bikes appeared, one of whom pulled out a gun and started firing. A fight followed in which Mr Gale Brent was stabbed in the heart. He managed to stagger about 30 metres to his home where he collapsed and died. Detectives investigating the murder believe he was probably mistaken for a member of one of the local gangs, the Ghetto Boys, by the Peckham Boys. This murder remains unsolved, as did five other recent murders on the Woodpecker estate. That same night, a man was chased in Deptford by approximately 30 to 40 youths before being stabbed, but he survived. Following the death of Jason, a group of teens appeared outside the community action center in Deptford. A gun was fired and a man on a moped was chased away. He crashed and was eventually caught up to by youths who stabbed him. The following evening, a shootout had occurred in Peckham. Three men pulled up to a basketball court in Peckham and were reported to have shouted, Peckham boys are pussies, before pointing a gun through the railings and firing. No one was injured. Police later arrested a man and a 17-year-old girl and seized a handgun, a Mac-10 submachine gun and drugs. Later in September 2006, police received specific intelligence that the Ghetto Boys would carry out drive-by shootings at Peckham schools at the end of the school day in order to catch YPB members as they left. Police decided to immediately evacuate Peckham Academy and Harris Girls Academy in the middle of the school day before the plot could be carried out. The schools reopened in the following week. In October 2007, there was a shootout widely reported to involve Ghetto Boys and Peckham Boys members. During the shootout, a police nurse was hit by a stray bullet and died. The police caught Ghetto Boy member Toner, who was one participant in the shootout, but they didn't catch the person who fired the fatal shot. Toner didn't snitch, so the Supreme Court convicted Toner of murder, as he didn't bait out who actually did it. At the same time, in South East London, the Woolwich boys shot dead a man in his car because he answered Peckham when they asked him where he's, where he's from. This was because in the Greenwich borough, Woolwich were beefing heavily with Thamesmead, who are allies of Peckham. For a few years, the Ghetto Boys had undergone major internal divisions, including the murder of Leader Sparks in 2006 by another Ghetto member. These events caused a big shift in the street politics of South London, with Lewisham dividing and fighting amongst itself. By 2008, the decades-long beef between the Peckham Boys and Ghetto Boys was over. The end of the beef was publicly announced by Giggs, where he dropped the famous Ruthless Freestyle in early 2008. In this song, he had the lyrics, Ghetto v Peckham, I ain't on that dead beef. This was a big moment in South London history, with maybe the bloodiest gang war London has seen officially coming to the close. Young ads from DBE even put out a tweet saying, When Giggs said, Ghetto v Peckham, I ain't on that dead beef, everybody in the hood started banging gigs in public. 
by 2007 or 2008, after decades of conflict, the Peckham boys and Ghetto boys had agreed to a ceasefire and alliance. A witness to a murder in 2007 had reported that Peckham and the Woolly Road Youngers had allied with New Cross and Deptford, areas the Ghetto boys controlled, which signalled an end to the conflict. However, they also reported elders in the gang found such an alliance disrespectful and as a result thought it was unlikely to last. With the war between Ghetto and Peckham over, the war between Brixton and Peckham started cracking in 2008. But that's about it for today's video, so thanks for watching and let me know if you want me to cover any more beefs, maybe the Peckham v Brixton one.